I am Kiki. I have received professional first aid training. Let's search for the injured in need of help. It's on fire! It's on fire! Let's search for the injured. When an earthquake strikes, natural gas pipelines are damaged. The leaking gas ignites due to the spark of the electrical appliance and starts a fire. Ah, what shall we do? Make a wet towel first. Covering your nose and mouth with a wet towel can filter the smoke out of the air and reduce the intake of toxic gas. Check if the doorknob is hot before, in case of fire, touch the doorknob with the back of your hands. Ah, it's burning hot! The door is burning hot! That means the fire is coming our way! Keep the door shut! When trapped indoors by fire, you should immediately call for help from balconies or windows. Help! Help! Do not call out for help for too long. Keep your strength up and wait for rescue. Touch the doorknob with the back of your hands. If the doorknob is not hot, then check if there's smoke in the corridor. If there's no smoke, evacuate as quickly as possible. When the fire breaks out, you should find an emergency exit sign right away and follow the directions to evacuate as quickly as possible. Drag the injured and follow the direction indicated by the emergency exit to locate the exit. After an earthquake strikes or a fire breaks out, it's dangerous to take the elevator. Let's take the stairs. scalded it hurts I am coming to give first aid rinse with clean water to cool the wound cut off the clothing near the wound you need to go to the nearby hospital for further treatment Okay, Kiki, thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's search for the injured in need of help. Huh? Oh, no! He seems to have gotten electric shock. Let's get professional staff for help right away. When a power line falls on the ground near you, it creates a step voltage. You need to hop on one foot immediately and stay away from where the power line falls so you won't get an electric shock. The firefighter boots are made of special rubber that can stop the flow of electricity and offer protection against electrical shock. Do you know what tools can be used to pick the power line? You are right. Dry wooden sticks can stop the flow of electricity. The on-site environment is safe. I have received professional first aid training. We can start the rescue now. What's the matter? What's the matter? Someone, help me. Please help me call the emergency number and get an automated external defibrillator, AED. Okay. If the chest doesn't rise for five to 10 seconds, it indicates that the injured has the cardiac arrest without breath. Start cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPR immediately. First, unbutton the shirts of the injured. Fold your hands at the center of the chest, lower half of the breastbone. Press down firmly to carry out chest compressions. Perform 30 chest compressions. Open the airway. Then, perform two rescue breaths until the automated external defibrillator, AED, is... We've got the automated external defibrillator.
Turn on the defibrillator and operate according to the voice prompt. The cardiac rhythm is being analyzed. Do not touch the patient. Please leave immediately. Tap on the electric shock button. Great! You are awake. Once the medical team is here, we will give you further treatment. Don't worry. Search for the injured in need of help. When the earthquake struck, I fell down and got cut by the glass on the ground. Don't worry, I am coming to give first aid. Put on protective gloves and apply pressure with a dressing on the wound to stop bleeding. First, go to an open and safe area to ask the doctor to give you further treatment. Let me help you clean up the wound. Saline solution. Apply from the center of the wound and move outward. Iodophore. Iodophore can kill bacteria on the wound. Put on protective gloves and apply pressure with a dressing on the wound to stop bleeding. from the center of the wound and move outward. <laughs> Iodophore can kill bacteria on the wound. It's still quite dangerous at the moment. Stay in the emergency shelter and don't run around. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When the earthquake struck, my hands were cut by falling stones. Don't worry, I am coming to give first aid. protective gloves and apply pressure with a dressing on the wound to stop bleeding. Great job! The bleeding stops! Wrap the wound with a bandage. Sprained ankle! Take the disposable medical ice pack. Tear open the inner bag. Shake the ice pack to cool it. Wrap the ice pack with a towel and put it on the sprained ankle to reduce the swelling and pain. Drag the bandage to fix the wound with the figure of eight bandage method.
elevate the injured foot to help with ankle recovery. Do not exercise after the sprain, otherwise it will affect the ankle recovery. Okay, thank you, Kiki. You're welcome.